Um, the other the other piece though is leadership in this valley. That's also my, my, my thing. We need to look at what the valley looks like and the leadership. Again, it's a nonpartisan issue. It's how do we get folks engaged so they can actually choose their leaders as opposed to allowing an elitist group of people to determine who the leadership is. Once that leader is in there, it's very difficult to get them out and it does not matter whether or not they're serving. You guys, Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass started the Republican Party for a different issue, not for the current issue. And so if we take that and we can say the same thing, and I'm not starting a debate, I'm just saying we can go through factual, just like the Democratic Party reversed. So the role for us as community citizens and residents is to make sure that whatever party that is, that is for people, and is for the people that it serves, regardless. Water is an issue, it's a nonpartisan issue. Education is an issue, it's a nonpartisan issue. The crime rate in here is a nonpartisan issue. So when we look across the board at the issues that are impacting these United States, and if we then choose to keep the leadership the way we kept the leadership thus far, we're going to continue to get the same thing that we're getting. We use the term change agent, but if you are a change agent, the journey is not an easy one because change is not easy. That's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Paid for by the committee to elect Gwen L. Morris, 